Hey, what's big and black and scary to touch? My gem in the rain! In my last video, I showed you my trip to Kentucky where I got my new gem. When I got it, the batteries were complete garbage. I could uh, buy lead acid knowing that they would only last me two or three years before they died again. Um, or I could just bite the bullet and go buy some used Chevy Volt batteries from eBay. I will have to figure out a way to mount these new batteries because the existing battery trays are marine deep cycle size. These new ones are a smaller pack. For the first battery tray, I used the Jimmy Duresta method of using angle iron. It's where he cuts out a square from the corners. That way you don't have to do a perfect 45 degree angles. And if you're off in those 45s, it's gonna throw the whole thing out of a square. So I thought I'd give that a try. Shout out to Jimmy for that uh, hot tip. I don't weld much, I'm really new to the game, and I just have a cheap Harbor Freight welder. But it came out as expected. It's not great, it's not bad. It'll serve its function, it'll keep the battery locked down. It was at this point that I decided to stop filming and really knuckle down and finish this project. It's really hard to shoot and work at the same time without taking forever to do it. So, so now we're gonna jump over to some finished footage. I'm gonna show you, you know, after I painted it and after I bolted it down to the gem and what it looks like once it's done. And then, then once we're done with that, I'll show you how I wired it up and some other, other more, more important details. Stop looking at me. All right, so here's the somewhat completed product of all the uh, metal I was doing. This is a battery tray and this battery tray is tied in to the batteries themselves with this all thread. This all thread runs through the entire length of this thing and then ties in with the square battery trays that I was welding up. And then the square battery tray ties in with two of these supports that go left to right. And the purpose of these is to tie into the aluminum frame. Uh, let me jump under the vehicle and I'll show you. All right, so I don't know if you can see this or not. That's where the battery trays mount to the vehicle. The back's done the same way too. But this is where I screwed them down from below. Right there, 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 there. On the front side here, I got this handy dandy jack. So all I have to do is take an extension cord like this and plug it in and it's being charged. Gems come with an onboard charging solution right here. It's a Delta Quick Q charger, but you do need to send it out or have somebody change the charging profiles on it for you to recharge lithium. It cost me $100, but it was totally worth it. So wiring it's, not as, wiring it's not as hard as you might think it would be. This is the positive from the front. 
goes to the positive on the front battery here. Negative out of this front battery goes to the back one. Negative ties in with the positive terminal on this back battery, goes through the battery into the negative out, and then back up to the front. Where it ties in with a fuse. A where things get turned on and off um, when you turn the key. Scary messing around with that kind of voltage though. I need a place to monitor the voltage. The dash comes off, so I want a place where I don't have to hook and unhook the voltage gauge all the time, so I'll put it here. This is just one of the gauges. I plan on having another one in the future, but this is just enough to get me through until I buy the fancy battery monitoring system. I think that about does it for the modifications that I made to the gym to make it run lithium batteries instead of uh, lead acid batteries. Next up is to change a bunch of other things like I need to lift it. It's been lifted, just haven't shown you how I've done it yet. Gonna add the front basket on this thing. It's on here, I just haven't shown you how I've done it yet. And of course the whole back end was completely different. It's done, just haven't shown you how I've done it yet. So stay with me on this journey. One or two more videos to come and I'll show you how to customize your own gym if you ever get your hands on one. They're super fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.